Hey, Kerry Russell here from the blog mechanic.com. So I'm just in the process of setting up a new WordPress blog for a client who's using Bluehost as their web hosting provider. Now, when you create an account at Bluehost, you get a free SSL certificate, which you should be able to easily activate from inside your Bluehost account. However, just recently, I have found that the free SSL certificate is showing as unavailable. And I'm finding this for a lot of the websites that I am building. So if you are setting up a WordPress blog for the first time and you are using Bluehost as your web hosting provider and you are experiencing the same problem, so you're not actually able to access your free SSL certificate, then in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix that in two simple steps. So as you can see from my screen, I am of course logged in to my client's Bluehost area. I'm on the My Sites tab. In fact, if I just go back there, when you click the My Sites tab for the first time, you'll just see a screenshot of your WordPress installation. If you hover over the screenshot and just click Manage Site, that's going to take you to the settings page for your WordPress website, okay? Now, usually to activate SSL on a Bluehost account, you simply go to the Security tab, and in the top left section where it says Security Certificate, you should just be able to toggle SSS on and once you've done that your domain name will automatically render as HTTPS in the browser but as we can see that's not happening because we are seeing the message saying that it's unavailable if I click the question mark to the right hand side of that message we're seeing a message saying we can't look up your SSL information right now this is probably temporary. Well, I can tell you from experience of setting up WordPress blogs for clients who use web hosting that it's not temporary and it doesn't actually fix itself, okay? Of course, you can contact Bluehost support and have them fix this for you, or you can just keep watching this video and I will show you how to fix it in two simple steps. Okay. Now, before we make any changes, I want to go to another browser and just visit my client's website to show you that when I enter the domain name into the Earl bar and press enter, that should, if you have SSL, it should just redirect to HTTPS and that should then make your website secure. But as we can see, no redirect is happening and to the left hand side we're seeing a not secure notice. So this is basically because some time ago Google introduced a new rule saying that any websites without HTTPS, so without a secure SSL certif certificate installed on their server, will get lower rankings in the search engines and get marked as not secure by many popular browsers, such as Chrome or Firefox. So obviously this is not a good thing because it affects your search engine rankings. And if a visitor goes to your website and your website is getting flagged as not secure, then, you know, it's not going to make them feel very confident that they can safely browse your website and enter personal information such as the email address for an opt-in offer or if you're selling products on your WordPress blog. So we need to get this fixed, okay? So to fix it, we're going to minimize this window down. So if you are having the same problem, it's your first WordPress blog, you're using Bluehost, just quickly log into your Bluehost account, go to the My Sites tab, On the screenshot, go to Manage Site. And then just like we did before, once that's loaded, go to 
the security page. And if you're seeing the unavailable notice, then we just need to make one edit inside your Bluehost account and then install a plugin on your WordPress website to make sure the redirect happens automatically, okay? So to do this, we go to the settings tab and in the top box, left-hand side, where it says site URL, we can see the site URL is using HTTP. So you want to place your cursor after the letter P and just add an S into there, okay? And then save your updates. Now, although we've added the S to the HTTP inside your Bluehost account, if we go back to my Chrome browser, that still doesn't necessarily mean that your, your website is going to automatically redirect to the HTTPS version. So if I refresh my page, we can see that stayed as www. So to complete the process, I'm going to minimize that down. Basically, you need to log in to your WordPress website because we're going to install a plugin that will make this second step much easier for you. Okay. So log into your WordPress website, go to plugins and add new. Top right corner where it says search plugins, enter really simple SSL. And that should bring the plugin up as the top search result in the top left corner. So click activate button. Okay, so that's activated. You may, um, sorry, I already had it installed. So if yours wasn't already activated, you would have needed to click install. And then of course, once it installs, just click activate. And then you'll then see a screen that looks like the one on my screen right now. So from here, you can safely just go ahead and activate the SSL certificate by clicking the blue button. So let's go ahead and click that button. Okay, you should see a message saying that it's been activated. And if you do already have a Google Analytics account on Webmaster Tools, also known as Search Console, then you'll need to update your URLs in the settings of those accounts as well, okay? Okay, so now we've activated that plugin, let's go back to my Chrome browser. I've still got the web page open. And now I'm going to refresh the page. Hopefully I don't need to clear the catch. Let's see if that works. And there we go. That has now automatically redirected to HTTPS. So that is how you fix the HTT, or should I say the SSL certificate, not being available inside your Bluehost account. And if we go back to Bluehost, before I bring this video to an end, to go back to the security tab, you will see that it still says unavailable, okay? Not sure why this is happening. I think it's obviously a problem on Bluehost end. So either way, you can either contact Bluehost or just follow the two steps in this video to quickly fix that problem. So that's it from me. This is Kerry Russell from the blog mechanic.com. If you found this tutorial useful, then please do share it, do subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course, visit my blog at www.theblogmechanic.com for more short tips and tricks related to WordPress and the technical side of building your online business. Bye for now.